Hi, I hope everyone is doing well. In the second part, I will show you how I calibrated this scene. It's not an exact walkthrough that will work on every shot, but I just want to share with you my thinking process when it comes to color grading, and hopefully, that will help you in your work too. This time, I'm gonna use DaVinci Resolve. It's my favorite platform to color grade because even the free version already has so many tools that will cover your needs. Okay, first things first, I shot this scene in HLG profile as it will give you more dynamic range. So if your camera has any HLG, log or flat profile, it would be nice to use that. I usually start with the color correction, but because the footage is shot in HLG, I need to make it into a more color grade friendly version. So I'm gonna make another note and add color space transform effect, which one of the reasons why I love using Resolve. Every camera has its own color science, so basically this effect will let you transform the color space and treat your footage as if it's in another camera or display. It will be really handy when you work with multiple cameras so that you can transform them into one profile and you can match the camera's colors easily. Because I'm using Panasonic GH5 camera, I know that it's using Rack 2100 as its color space and then for the input gamma, I will use Rack 2100 HLG. For the output color space, I want to show it in Rack 709 which is the standard for most displays. And then for the output gamma, I will use the Panasonic V-Log because after this node, I will put one of my favorite LUTs which is from GH Alex. You can do the color correction before or after these nodes. I would do it before because the tools are more subtle as it's still treating my footage in flat profile before I transform the color space. Here's the difference when I do it before and after these nodes. So in this correction node, I will adjust the temperature to match the early morning color. And if you see the footage has a little bit of magenta in overall color, I will drag the gamma a little bit towards the green. If you see the waveform, the skin color is around the right area and the exposure is okay, like there's no clipping, so I don't have to make too much change in its contrast. I'll just add a little bit using the curve. After the white balance and the exposure are corrected, I will adjust minor colors. I would use the curve tool to remove or change any unwanted color or maybe enhance some colors. When I see this shot, this blue in this area is quite distracting because it's too saturated. So I will go to hue versus saturation. I will click at this blue color and I will drag down the middle node to lessen the saturation. And this seems about right. Next, I will add another node to make the highlight a little bit yellow. So usually, when you shoot on film, you can see the highlight is more towards warm color and I'll push the highlight towards yellow. Next, 
Next, I will add my favorite note, which is halation. One of the characteristics when you shoot in film compared to digital, you will get halation in the broader part of the shot. I will select the brightest part of the scene using this Luma qualifier. I will adjust the luminance a little bit. Here seems about right. And then I will use Edge Detect. Set it on grayscale edges. And then I'll have the edge color to red, like this. Check the edge mask overlay and then adjust the rest to your liking. Now you can see a subtle red glow here. Now usually I would put some green to add more texture to the scene. So there you go, I hope you find it useful for you, thank you and see you in the next video.